images and things like that on the platform but you can also add files to courses you can also have courses Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about adding files to a course that you already have at least on Click eCourse so we're going to talk about that last week we talked about creating a course in minutes and now we're going to add the, some files to it like pdfs and images and things like that that you can add to your courses just by you know it's a simple process we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, in any course you need files, right? PDFs, maybe images, maybe mind maps, maybe cheat sheets, that kind of stuff. So we're going to show you how you can do that in a clicky course using very simple process and also we're going to talk about a little bit about you know how to sell a course and that kind of stuff as well but before we get to that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis442.jsgagnon.com because of course we're going to be sharing the screen and we're going to be there's going to be a blog post there as well to add to this topic all right so let's get right to it let me share my screen right away and show you what we're talking about so on Click eCourse you have a social platform it's a social media platform it looks a lot like Facebook right where you can post images and things like that on the platform but you can also add files to courses you can also have courses on there you can have uh, add and add your own files to the courses like for example if I go to CIS course over here or if I go to this actually the course that I want to go to whoops it's not here it's right down here the course I want to go to is this course that I created last week with you the power traffic course right so this course here I can just click on this this is actually in the feed right here we can see that the course was added last week we can see some images I added last week as well and that's kind of how the platform works every time you add a course every time you add a lesson to a course it adds it to the feed so people that are you know on the platform that are seeing the feed they might you know of course it's like, like I said it's a social feed you can do like Facebook and post things like this happy new year you know a visit with my daughter here the, my daughter's doing uh, unreal engine and then the snow and happy new year and all those kinds of things you can do that too but we're going to talk about courses right now so let's go to the course we click on this image to take you to the course and we're going to go and add uh files to it so when I go to this view of the course this is going to show me the course as an editor right as a student of the course if I wanted to see what the student view was I can go here and I can say open this in a incognito window so we can see what it looks like as a visitor to the site somebody who doesn't have the the course and you can see that it basically has you know this similar layout except it doesn't have any edit buttons and things like that you can see the the the, the image the title of the course also what categories it's in and then you can see the videos down here right these are the videos there's nothing else in the course there's no other but this course should have um some some uh, cheat sheets and other things like that that we I don't know if you if you watched last week's episode but we did kind of show you about that stuff that's available so let's go add those things to here when we go to the actual editor view right my view of this you can see there's an add lesson there's also an add file right here there's that's really that simple you just click on this add file here or if you want you can use the general plus that's up here that stays all the time at the top of the screen and you click on plus here and you can say I want to add a file you can click on add file there's all these other things you can do too but let's just right now we just want to add a file to the lesson so let's go when you add a file you basically give it a title because that'll show up in the underneath the the little thumbnail right you can also give it a thumbnail um and we just click on specify your own file right here and I'm going to uh upload here a let's say I upload the cheat sheet cheat sheet so and in, in the summary if I want I can put a summary here I can say uh cheat sheet 
for traffic for power traffic of course for power traffic all right whoops I gotta type it right so let's just do that did I not write this cheat sheet right okay so now I have to just specify so I'm going to be adding these to the course and there's a couple things here we can kind of look at too so I want to choose the thumbnail so let's go to the um the files are in here under plr I've got a folder called plr that because that's where these come from and it's called power traffic okay so under this folder there's a bunch of things so there's a checklist there's an ebook right here which I actually I didn't realize let's add the ebook first let's go to the ebook uh, but right now we want the thumbnail for it so let's go to the uh it's not in here under graphics is it ebook there's the ebook ebook stacked let's do this one let's take this one and let's put that as the thumbnail then I want to actually have the file itself the file I want to add I got to say what I want the what I want is the ebook this ebook right here whoops all right but in this case I'm going to change that because this is ebook let's just say ebook let's call it ebook for power traffic right so I'm just going to change it to ebook because that's kind of why I should have um the other thing is uh let's see okay so the other thing that I want to kind of point out is whenever you're adding a file you can decide whether it's a free file that's available to people that are just accessing the course without paying for it without having it as a course in their library and in this case we don't want to make it free and you can also set whether they can put comments or not on the file right so let's just say that we enable comments on the file and it's not free and I'm going to click on save right here <clears throat> now that's going to upload the ebook and the thumbnail and if I go back to the course by clicking course here or just clicking power traffic now I can see that this course has got a file now it's not published I click on publish now and I get an error I'm going to fix that let me just pause this and go fix that oh my so yeah okay I got that fixed it was just a tiny little bug you won't see that error but all you got to do is you click on the publish now and that turns it into a publish so that means that when I go back to the course here if I click on share and go back to this link here right click open an incognito I can see now that as a visitor to the site that doesn't have the course or even not like not even logged in now if I scroll down I can see there's a file here but I can't click it if I try to click it it says you must purchase this course to access this file you can click on okay it'll take you to uh, the URL to buy it which I guess this is not oh look at that buy get key course there's another bug and it's not, not shouldn't say had it should say what but even then that is not even something that works what is that another weird issue with a is there an error here is this a click ecourse.com what's wrong with that anyways another issue that you're not going to see whenever you access the site uh, obviously there's little issues that happen here and there this will be fixed so yeah so basically now we have a file let's add the other files let's add the other files we want to have um also let's see what let's go down to the bottom here and see what files I want to add let's go back to here we got the ebook then we have the checklist let's add the checklist so this will be the checklist checklist right uh, summary is checklist for power traffic and I'm going to specify my own file as the thumbnail so let's go here go to the images there's actually I'm not sure if this one it depends on the PLR courses that you're, you're going to be using right but this PLR course basically has uh let's see if I go to the graphics is there a resource checklist there's the checklist let's put that one there and then save it so now we have the checklist uploaded let's add another one I can say add new file again right here to add the next one and let's go down to the next one let's choose a file again let's go to the number whoops I didn't click okay so a resource cheat sheet so this is going to be the cheat sheet so cheat sheet with an a it's an a right so cheat 
sheet. Why do I? I can't. I can't spell that. Cheat sheet. Cheat. Fee cheat. Sheet. Sheet. For power traffic. What am I type? Am I typing this wrong or not? What's going on here? Cheat. Sheet. I guess that's fine. Okay, so then I'm gonna go. I've got the resource cheat sheet right here. I'm gonna choose a thumbnail again. Choose a file here. Go back to the images, and let's look at the cheat sheet. What is this one? Power traffic. I guess the there is no reason. Oh, there it is. That's the one. Okay. There's the cheat sheet one. Save that. Now, if I go back to the the next one is going to be what else do we have? Let's see what else we have. Just click on choose file again. Let's go find the mind map. So we have the mind map right here. So that's the mind map. And let's see if there is a mind map uh, preview mind map mind map. So mind map for power traffic right we're doing that again we we'll specify our own file and let's go find this file and I could use this but I don't really want to use this because this is the big high res version so let's go see if there's a an image for it if there isn't one I can just create one from it because I I want to have the same you know that same image as the but I don't want it to be uh, downloadable for free right so I'm going to right click it I'm going to just use just a basic edit and then I'm going to go into this the paint right let's just zoom out here as you can see it's very high res but let's just resize it to I don't know let's resize it to say 640 and that'll make it super small and if I zoom into full size if somebody even tries to download this to look at it they're not going to be able to see what it is right it's not possible to read it so that's the point we want to I want to show that it's <laughs> that it's a mind map but not necessarily not necessarily let people see how to um let people see what it contains right so let's actually make it a little bit more more uh, square so I'm just going to take this move this a little bit out to the side here and then I'm going to make this a little bit like this there we go all right so let's just save as then we're going to put that inside of the same PLR course which is over here in my files PLR courses power traffic power traffic again in the uh, graphics and let's just say mind map thumb let's just say mind map dash thumb because I want to make sure that it's not confused all right so now I can close this and then I can go back to the graphics and now I have it in here as a file right my map thumb right there <coughs> all right so then I just save it so now I've got the mind map is there any other, other file let's go see let's just click on add and let's go browse again to find another file if there's another one to add uh go back into here after mind map there's a sales page I don't I could always add that but still this is I'm not necessarily opt-in page and graphics articles what about articles what is that different ways to think about remarketing oh these are could these I could add these as as files too right email swipes and this is all because it's a PLR course that you can resell so it's got extra things even social media images right here it's kind of cool hmm. very nice quotes whoops what happened here oh I went and I double clicked it to hold it <laughs> so what is it I want to see what this is well I guess we have it here oh these are the same as on these images I guess very cool okay so I can just press cancel I don't want to add any more files to this course so I'm just going to click cancel it gives me the, the list of files as a list like this I can go back to the course 
and um, go down here and just publish them all right here's the other thing whenever you're looking at your course you can actually go and say I want to see the files so up here you can say files right here right there instead of pressing the plus which is by the way another way of adding the files you can just click on files and it'll give you the list the files in this format here right and you can see the ones that are red is because they're not public and they're set to draft right and in each of these you can actually click these boxes to go and edit that particular thing like the, the this is the title whoops I guess this is the title here which one was that the checklist some something oh look at that I guess there's an uh we have another bug wow we're finding bugs this is one of the things I I guess that's one of the ways to find bugs for me is to actually use the use the features because every time I change something in one area something else can break checklist for power traffic there we go this one is checklist there we go save that all right so I can have this and I can also change them to published right here and then if I just uh, reload this page these will all be green now because they're all published right um so these icons here are let you see this so if I click on this it lets me see what it looks like for um for the for the per person that's actually accessing this particular item in the course right um if I go back to the list again you can see now there's a there's a details thing I can click on this this is basically lets me see the details of what it looks like like this and if I go back again I can click on the this little icon which is the edit icon as you can see you mouse over it it'll tell you what these are right so edit icon this takes me to the page where I can actually change things on this particular file right like I can change the summary directly all of it in one shot right if I click on back again now I can also click on this one here which is a clone so that lets me duplicate this exact thing in a new file so if I wanted to say for example in the case of files it's not that very common that you want to do that but maybe you have two checklists and instead of having to fill in all this you just clone it and then you say checklist two or something right and the rest stays the same right but anyways like I said with a file it's not that critical it's more, more for lessons that have videos and images and thumbnails and things like that the other thing you can change here is whether it's free or not say I want to give the checklist away for free right I can change this to free right here and then what happens is if I go back to the course uh, you won't see any difference here because this is the editor view right the person who actually owns the course that's editing it uh, but now we can see if I go to the course um, in incognito right oops first I have to click it then I right click here now when I look at the course you can see all the all the lessons down here they all say buy now right if I was to click on any of these it would just tell me to book, that I can buy it these are the same except for this one look at that this one here is actually doesn't have a buy now button because you can actually see it for free I can click it and it'll actually load it up so I can actually see this particular ebook right <coughs> uh, if I go back again now if I click on one of these ones it'll tell me that you must purchase this course to access this file right and again if I click OK it'll take me to the option to buy the course right which is this right if I click on the buy button it takes me there if I click on this and this is supposed to take me the same thing I think that's the bug right that's the problem this is the error this is, has an extra ampersand there which should not be there and then this should say w instead so I got I, this is a bug I gotta fix but it should take you to this page to buy the course right for 17 dollars and uh, that's basically how that works right so yeah all right so anyways we'll close that 
this is how you add files to a course you just go through and add the files and you can choose the order that the files are showing up here if you want let's say I go back to the files list just go to the files list right here I can actually change the order that they're in by just doing this let's say I want the checklist to be first let's move it up now the checklist is whoops did it did, 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 did. so oh look at that another error haha <laughs> gotta fix that too but you can probably you can probably do let's say I put this as one and this one here is two I guess that's not working either but that's kind of how you would do it I would swap these around and then it would allow me to put the one first and the other one first again like you know I'm just finding these issues this is kind of crazy this is a website that I've been building for so long and I keep finding little issues because there's changes that have happened a while ago and I just haven't gone back to do exactly what I'm showing you right now right this is just how it is this is how things happen when you're developing when you're the when you're building a site bugs happen and you know obviously some people would tell me well, oh my god don't post that don't post this video because you've got a whole bunch of bugs in it and you're telling people about this thing and it's not even working and they're going to see it's not working and you know what the thing is you have to realize that as you build your online presence as you build your audience as you grow your brand there's not going to be that many people that see your stuff in the beginning and it's important for you to go through the process for you to learn and to find issues and things like that by doing things because you know if I if I didn't do this video here I probably wouldn't have found these issues and maybe somebody else would have found them they would have said the, the platform's no good and whatever right but this is an example of how you find issues hey, let's talk about another thing if I go back to the course here and I just want to say for example I want to um add a deal like we had before right where you we say that you can have this course for 17 dollars that's actually the lowest price that we're allowed to sell this particular course it's actually a course that in the online platform it actually doesn't let you sell it for less than that uh, so we're not going to be able to change that but let's say I go back to the deals here and I want to change that to uh 17 dollars this is not I don't want that to be 17 so I'm going to have to delete it and I'm going to delete the 17 dollar deal which means if I reload this now you'll see that the deal of 17 dollars is gone right so now it's just 97. so I can add another deal let's say I want a deal that's 47 dollars or maybe 27 dollars and this will be and here's the thing with the deals you can actually make them so that they expire every Friday so whenever somebody goes to the site instead of saying I want this to end let's say 12 oh that's a start I want this to end 2023-1231 okay so if I do that then what will happen is that whenever I reload the page you'll see that I, the price is 27 dollars until the end of the year until you know that's like months from now right so nobody's going to be like well that's what well, I don't need to buy this now it's on sale for you know another year but what if it was let's delete this again and what if it was you know uh, 27 and it was um actually instead of normal use end date we're just going to say every day at midnight so now when now what that okay so what this does if I say day Monday Tuesday Wednesday Saturday week every week every month every year so I can actually have the 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 deal expire on that moment right so for example the x here is because I can say day let's say day and then I want to say two so that means that it'll expire in two days from now whenever somebody accesses the site it'll say it expires tomorrow if I say one here instead of zero or zero right I think it doesn't matter that means it expires tonight and when they visit the site tomorrow it'll still be on sale but it'll expire tomorrow night which you know it's kind of like a little bit uh scammy or or spammy or whatever you want to call it <laughs> 
but it is also one of the ways to cause urgency right so if I submit this oops and I reload this now now you're going to see that there's a deal on this course that expires tonight see the 10th this is the time I'm recording this video right now uh the 9th actually is it sorry I clicked my screen there so it's today the, the 9th so it expires the 10th so one day tomorrow it expires tomorrow in a day plus 24 hours later right <coughs> at midnight so it takes today's date right now of when you're visiting the site and it adds 24 hours and then goes to the midnight of that hour right that's kind of how it works the other thing you can do too is you can have two deals you can set up another deal right now that is 17 dollars let's say this one here I'm just going to go back to this I'm going to say okay I don't want this one let's get rid of this one too but let's say I want to have two deals I want to have a deal right now that's until the end of this week but then I want the next deal to show up afterwards so I'm going to say for uh, let's say 27 until you know the end of 2022 2023 12 31 right so I want that to be kind of the normal price so now if I was to look at it if I was to reload this now it'll say that it's 27 until the end of the year right but I can add another deal that's only this week that's 17 dollars so I can go like this 17 and I can make it end uh let's say 20 23 01 dash let's say 20 and actually let's make this uh 21 and then if I do this and then okay so now what happens you can actually make this super complicated if you want like you can have a deal here that's 17 dollars that only starts on the 12th and ends on the 15th right so now I have three deals going on now right now today we're the 9th so that means that on the 9th it'll be this deal here that actually kicks in the 17 dollar no it's not because this starts on the 12th this one here this one here that is uh no this one here <laughs> so it'll be the one that's a 21 dollars because that is valid now until the 20th but on the 12th in two days three days from now it'll be 17 dollars and then after the 15th it'll go back to this 21 dollars until the 20th where then it goes back to this 27 dollars until the end of the year <coughs> and then next year it'll go back to the full price of 97 dollars does that I know that's sorry <laughs> I know that's a little complicated to follow uh but just think of it like if you had uh, these you know dates on your calendar and you had a, a price on each each date you wanted to have different deals maybe you're doing a webinar and you want a certain price during that webinar you can have those kinds of things show up now right now if I reload this page I believe it'll say yeah 21 dollars until the 20th of January right so that means that right now it's 20 21 dollars for this course for people to visit the people to buy it and uh yeah so here's the other thing maybe I want to have this video here the introduction so that people get an idea of what this course is about so I'm going to edit this course I can click on the edit here and then I want this course to be free same thing it's got a free right here I say yes save that and now if I go back to the course now the intro to the course is free so somebody before they buy it they can actually see what the course is about by watching the introduction one right so if I go back to the share here go to the course and then I look at this course it'll also it will actually say that there's a free video now there's a watch now button that shows up you can see this one here says watch now whereas those ones say buy now if I click on this now it plays that video for that course 
let's just, this is a little intro. Let's turn on the desktop audio. There you go. Website, website Traffic 101. There you go. Building, Building a successful, a successful website, website and generating, generating lots of steady traffic, traffic has... So now people can actually see what the course is about by looking at the intro they can skip ahead right and and see what the actual course is going to be about and they can read through it and then they can decide whether they want to buy it or not right so that's kind of yeah that's the kind of stuff you can do with this and uh what else can I oh right then there's commissions what if you want to promote you want other people to promote your course you can actually have other people promote this course right here if I click on share <coughs> it tells me share this course I can get up to 75 percent on the course sales and that's because when I edit the course if I click on edit here and I go to price commission you can see that I set the course commission percent to 75 percent I could set it to 100 even if I wanted 100 percent so what happens there is that I get the lead but the person who promotes it gets the payment right and maybe that's okay maybe that's that's good and buyers of this course or whoever is a free user whoever can get the commission is going to be this now the amount of commission that the person gets is also based on their plan so we're not going to get into that right now but the percentage this percentage here is how much as a course creator are you willing to give away to others now this doesn't all go to the person who referred it unless that person has the plan that supports 100 percent commission so I'm not going to get into that right now but just so you know that this represents the amount of the sale that you're willing to give away are you willing to give away 50 percent 70 percent 100 percent right so whatever you set this to let's say I say 90 95 percent I say done and then if I go back to the course now and if I share it here it'll say up to 95 percent right so obviously this is my course so this is my link right here but anybody else who buys the course and wants to share the course they'll get their own link here which will identify who they are so that they get the commission whenever they sell whenever the course sells to that other person all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.